Welcome or welcome back, cyber explorers. It's Chris, and in this video, we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide how to enable or disable secure boot in BIOS. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The steps to enable or disable secure boot vary from computer to computer. I will be demonstrating on an Asus ROG Strix motherboard, but you can look for similar options on your device. Start by restarting the computer and entering the BIOS. If you don't know which key to press to enter the BIOS or UEFI setup menu, our video on how to enter BIOS or UEFI by manufacturer might help you. The link is in the description below. Once you enter the BIOS or UEFI setup menu, if you are in easy mode view, switch to advanced mode view. In this case, I can do that by clicking on advanced mode or pressing F7. First, you need to make sure that the compatibility support module, also known as CSM, is disabled in BIOS or boot mode is set to UEFI mode as the secure boot option might be hidden if the CSM option is enabled. Our video on how to disable or enable CSM in BIOS might help you. The link is in the description below. Now you need to find the secure boot option. This option is usually in either the security tab, the boot tab, the system configuration tab, or the authentication tab. In this case, go to the boot tab and click on secure boot and make sure Secure Boot is set to Windows UEFI mode, which means the Secure Boot state is on, in other words, enabled, or set it to Other OS, which means the Secure Boot state is off, in other words, disabled. If you are going to disable Secure Boot, you might need to clear the Secure Boot keys. So, go to the Key Management option and click on Clear Secure Boot Keys. And if you are going to enable Secure Boot, you might need to install default Secure Boot Keys. So, go to the Key Management option and click on Install Default Secure Boot Keys. Finally, save the changes, then exit. In this case, I can do that by going to the Exit tab, then clicking Save Changes and Reset, or pressing F10. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to share more with you. So, until next time, see you later.